All right, well, let's let's delve ahead and get into some things since I know you're on the move. Welcome to Plastic Magazine and being our first guest on a brand new segment called Singles Only, where we talk about different singles and things that are coming out and we dissect them. And I've been looking real forward to peeling back the layers of this specific composition with you and really gaining some perspective on the shades of gray that you presented within this song right there. We got to get into that. Okay, shades of gray. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Good. Nice, nice. Well, let's let's get to it. Uh, very excited to hear about your new release, Virginia, and to really get the deeper meaning behind what really lies behind those beautiful vocal arrangements that you gave to us. So let's jump into it. What does this beautiful song, Virginia, represent? And it, you know, from from what I heard, it it seems like a song that's about someone longing for emotional stability in a place that's known to encourage the gathering of lovers, so to speak. What's your perspective? Wow, that's a great um, analysis. Well, originally this song was uh, written by a close friend of mine, a wonderful songwriter named Jarrell and his cousin Antoine. And um, ironically, it was something I was actually experiencing and going through in my life at the time where a love gone wrong um, kind of unexpectedly happened and where, like you said, to try to continue the love affair or whatnot in Virginia and just trying to figure out where th does the love go in this particular situation. It's like a love loss, basically. So Virginia is like my open letter to that person saying, you know, Virginia being our last, uh, like a memento of our love, I guess you could say, and how it just came to where I was looking for that from that person and it didn't work out. So it's a little sad, but it's a vibe. Virginia's definitely a vibe. I heard the record. I changed a few words to make it even more personal for myself. And um, I just fell in love with it when I first heard it. So I was like, I got to do this record. It's, I have to do this song. So I felt the you... same way. It's it's very addictive. It's a beautiful record. It really displays your vocal ability. And in general, I think it was a great kind of welcome back. Because uh, we've I... missed you on these streets in terms of from I a physical do. standpoint. I... Oh. I thought I also thought my best friend Zo slash my manager. He also said that it's so funny. You you're like the only person that's ever said that that we've talked to you about the records anyway. Saying that Virginia was a good um, reintroduction, I guess, for myself. So I liked it for those reasons as well. It's R and B, but it's got a little hit to it. You know, like the second verse pick up. It's got this little bounce to it. So I felt the record was. Um, very Nivea, but um, Nivea now. So I love it. I love that I'm doing this project in particular, not necessarily themed on anything, but I'm doing R&B and hip hop music My where I started at. And um, it feels good to get back to that. And um, it feels like I haven't done it in so long. Like my last project, Mirrors, I released in 2019 was kind of like a collection of records I had kind of done here and there over the years. And it was more personal for me. Like these were songs I just wanted to do. Wasn't really aimed towards anything in particular. But this re this particular album I'm putting together is R&B, hip hop, back to the new Nivea, I guess you would say. And um, I'm excited for people to hear these records. I got another single that's coming out soon. Definitely going to have visuals. And around my birthday, which is March 24th, <laughs> I, um, we plan, we're planning to release the album. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So you've told us about some of the new stuff coming up. You know, I'm gonna ask a little bit more about that, but we still, we still, we we still want to peel back a little bit more about this this Virginia single because it's 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 a very powerful song. And what is the message you're looking to kind of send with this single? Like, how do you want the audience to feel? And you you said that you changed some of the words around for it, you know, to really be more applicable to you. What was your mind state as you sung those words? Well, my mind state was 
you know, the first lines, it's cold in the winter out here. I feel my hands hard. Um, the lyricism, I love Jarrell. The fact that he wrote that so vividly, um, there are lyrics, but you can see the words. It's cold in the winter out here. I feel my hands hard. And that already sets the tone. Virginia is a vibe. Like, it really puts you in a mood. And I've gotten a lot of different um, takes, I guess you can say, on the record. People say um, different things it means for them. But overall, it just puts you in a certain mood, um, which it was. it's important to me as an R&B singer is to, I don't know if I want to say remind, but I guess remind people of what it used to mean to get into a record. Like, let it build, like, hear the music, feel all the emotion, what what the feeling of the song is supposed to do to you. So um, I think that's what it is. It's a vibe. It's not it's not a song that li- really kind of answers anything or leaves on an answer because it was a song about hurt and confusion and love and, and kind of being lost in that and trying to figure it out. Perfect. I, I I have to agree. I haven't been able to stop playing it. I've just loved doing that as well. Oh, you. Now, you you mentioned earlier uh, in terms of that. Who are some of the writers and producers in terms of this 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 beautiful song? Well, the um, writers was his name is Jarrell and Antoine. They wrote Virginia, and I also added some lyrics. The producer is Hannibal. MFN production, an incredible production team I'm working with. And I really appreciate it because they really brought the instrumentation. You can hear in Virginia as the record builds. It's just dope. The drums, the strings, it's just beautiful record. The guitar, I just love um, musicians, you know, like that's able to compose. Uh, you can hear all of the different things and let the instruments take you on its own journey. So I'm working with Jarrell and Hannibal and myself, of course, I'm also writing. I featured my daughter on Virginia. And she had just a little small vocal part on there. She heard, it was actually one of the parts I wrote. She was like, mama, you gotta let me sing that part. I was like, girl, I was like, it's gonna be weird if you just bust out out of nowhere and start singing right here. So we created a way that it would sound um, organic. I, I'm, I don't want to really give away where she's singing at. I'm going to tell you in a, in a little bit. because I, I want to guess. I want to guess. Because, because, because I heard you talking about it on IG. And I said, all right. And, 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 and I'm that type of journalist and creative to where I'm going to listen to that song 900 <laughs> times and dissect it and go deeper and deeper into it to the point where my family's like, well, you turn that damn song off. However, I was trying to find where, where he may there? have been. If I had to guess, and I'm guessing you may tell me I'm wrong, around, okay. the, around the lifetime love letter area, where you, when you go into that, is, is that where she is? You're close. A lot of people think that, but no. That's not it. I'm going to tell you because, you know, they'll know by the time, you know, they catch this interview with Plastic. But um, she's at the very end. And so it's at the end of what we call in songwriting a vamp. It's gotcha. like an extra bar after the bridge. So when she says, so if you really want me. Mm-hmm. So we, I decided instead of having her sing the whole end, we do like a call and response. So she starts it and she says, so if you really want me, and I say, you need to make a choice. And she say, because this is hurting. And I say, staying in this bud. And she says, I can understand if you choose to choose her. And I say, but you can't leave me hanging and lose for your love. I loved it. I was like, yes. And for me, it was even a, a double um, meaning for the record. Because the end of the record gets to a frustrating point where I'm like, if you want me, you know, pick me or leave me alone and it's almost like my inner child is crying out for that love and so to have my actual child singing the inner child part was a double um meaning for me and and purpose for what the record means to me so I can't wait to people hear that and know that that's why I put her and not just because she can sing was because it was like oh it's like my inner child crying out at the end, like I'm having like a little fit at the end. So it's like your inner child saying, 
pick me, love me. Uh, uh, why is this not working? And so when she was like, I got to sing this, that was the first thing popped in my head. I was like, that's perfect. My inner child is crying out for him. So we did it and it, I love it. It came out great. Amazing. And 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 you <laughs> took it and you took it way deeper than I thought too in terms of that. And that is like one of my favorite parts of the song in terms of that. I, I, I love the end, how it lends in terms of that. I was just like, whoa, you better sing that. Girl. <laughs> I love like, it. Like the song is saying, like, you know, I thought we was gonna fix it. What have we done? We're trying to work it out. I want to be with you. And then it's like, oh, I'm tired of this. If you really want me, make a choice. Like this is hurting, you know. So yeah, I loved yeah. it when you said you were in that void because that was the perfect definition of it. Like I'm in this, I'm in this in space, void, like this, this void of space of right. no love, you know. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, that that selfish feelings, unwanted yeah. energy. I I, I loved right. it. I loved it to death. Now, are we gonna get some visuals with this in terms yes. of that? I love that you get the lyrics. I'm so dumb. Yay! And yes. I, I, I do. That's why I love singles only because I'm a, I'm a music guy and I love to sit back and talk about the true meaning. And it's an honor and a pleasure to talk to the person that wrote and helped us sing the song to get your perspective on it. It's, it's just yes. a beautiful thing. I think it's so dope. But yes, we plan to do, I'm going to do a visual very, very soon. Um, we were having a little debate because Virginia is so, um, such a, mood such a feeling type record we want to do it more intimate like acoustic maybe and do like just a performance video versus a traditional video like i was originally planning to do which i may still do but definitely want to give an acoustic kind of live performance video um to let people really get into um the feeling of it but definitely doing a visual i can't wait to start doing visuals so i'm like uh, on my health and fitness so I can look good in the video. <laughs> all right, well, talk to me about that. What, what, what are you doing to keep it all tight and right? As, as my man well, says, fighting gravity. <laughs> I, I must say, 2021 and um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, like, really kicked it to me. I kind of had to get back on track. But no, I work with the trainer. His name is Jeremy Legend Health in the building. And... um. I just had to get really back consistent again and eating really clean and consistency is everything. Like it's a real lifestyle. And um, I have to get back on it. I started my health journey again because I've had many starts, <laughs> but I got very, very serious about my health and fitness in 2020. And I've just been on this, on that journey since. And um, it will be a lifetime thing because it's, of course, at first, it's like a goal way to go look, but I want, this is my goal for my lifestyle. I want to be a, a healthy, there's an inner athlete in me, <laughs> and um, it's my desire to live, and I will live uh, and lead a healthy lifestyle in life, so I work out, you know, a few times a week, and um, I'm dieting right now, so that's what we're going to do, child. All right, you you holding it together, you making it happen. Now, can you tell me about your creative process, especially around this song, you know, in terms of putting it together? Did you kind of get in a room with those great writers and collaborators that you talked about and you guys kind of, you know, figure it out? Or do you kind of prefer to create in your own space? Right. Songwriting can go a whole number of different ways. It's different person or per situation like say for instance um I did most of all if not all the writing on my last project in 2019 but this one in particular I wasn't so gung on like I gotta write every song right. so sometimes a writer or producer or somebody may send you a record that's already done and you may say oh I want to do that you go record it or you may say oh I want to link with those said writers and producers or whatever and we create something original together on the spot or, you know, it can go a whole number of different ways. It really just depends on how you set that up, how you want to do it. You want to do something original or you want, hey, send me what you got. And let me go through your stuff and pick a song. So it can, it can go either way. With me, I'm unless I'm so like, like Virginia and it is so completely relatable to me, I feel like it's, you know, a personal story. A lot of times I won't change a word, honey. I will sing it just like it is. But it, that means it really felt like it came from me. But as a writer, most of the time, I'm definitely going to change some words. Or I may say, I may hear something and say, 
I don't like the song on it, but I want the track. So I'll, let me rewrite a different song on there. Right. Or vice versa. Sometimes you'll hear a song, maybe the, a writer has written it and you like the song, but you don't like the music. So you take the song and put it on different music. So like I said, it can go so many different ways. I could be at home and be like, oh my God, I got a great song topic I want to talk about. And I don't do a lot of at home writing per se, like I used to. I'm more of a go to the studio and let it happen there type of artist now. But I'm real big on putting notes in my phone and um, ideas and stuff like that. So when you talk about uh, putting a record together, it can go a thousand different, it can come together so many different ways. That's, that, that's pretty cool. I love to hear about people's creative process. I like to hear how the innovation is baked up and how things are putting, are being put together. How do you balance being a, a mom, an entrepreneur, creative? You got so many things. Every time I look up on your IG, you're going somewhere, you're doing stuff, you're about to release some new music, you know, you, you're trying to balance all that. How do you do all of that? Well, here's the thing. I took a quite a little break, if you will. And so my kids know now that this is their first time they know me as a singer from the internet, from the past not while they've been here. So this is the first few years I've been active as a singer and not just their mom for the first time in their lives. So it's cool, but it's also very uh, challenging at times. Thankful, I'm grateful thanks to God, to God that their fathers, of course, are great co-parents and they can go be with them when, when I need um, to be gone. And we do that back and forth because, you know, they're very busy as well. Right. So um, it's been challenging, though, here and there. Sometimes when your kid got something going on at school, usually I'm the one who's right, able to deal with something right away because I was, you know, stay at home mom. But now when I'm moving around, it's also a good thing because it's kind of starting to force them to I don't want to say man up, but <laughs> kind of grow up and learn how to deal with situations. And me too, of um, letting the rope go a little because I'm so used to coddling them and mommy and them and they about to be, they're teenagers, you know? So uh, it's been a learning lesson for me and my kids of um, being more self-reliant and maturing and um but it'd be stressful for me child because i'm like y'all know i got a show tonight ah, you know something might be going on at home or i'm breaking up an argument or i'm trying to make sure they straight for dinner and all that but like i said fortunately they are um teenagers high schoolers except for my youngest and he in middle school but um it's a lot easier i think because of their age but it has its challenges. I just try my best to, I had to find balance with like, okay, now that I'm back working so actively and, and being a mom. Right. And then sometimes I was like, I want to go out. It's like, you can't really be doing that if you know you got work tomorrow, you got to sing or you got a photo shoot. Or... So I've had to kind of rebalance things in life in general. And um, like even how, my, the way I grocery shop now is a little different because I haven't had a schedule like this in quite some time. But it's all a matter about figuring it out. And um, since I've gotten the ball rolling, for the most part, it always everything works out. But I try to stay optimistic. But it's always something. That, something always <laughs> something always comes to show up. Like why now? But I just push through and try to make the most of it. It's a blessing to even be able to pursue my passion and have people that still support me after all these years. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of it and make the most out of my creative talent to, you know, continue to inspire other people. Right on, right on. Well, my last thing here is where can everybody find your new single and where can they follow your movement and all that stuff like that? Tell the good people where they can find this wonderful song and all the things that you do so we can continue to keep up with you, Queen. Right. Good people of the world. Your girl Nivia here. I finally have a new single, some new music on the way. New single out now called Virginia. You can stream it on all streaming platforms. Please go support your girl. 
new more music coming i have an album i'm almost finished with and visuals to come you can follow up on me and see any news that i got coming and whatever i'm working on on all social media platforms is this is nivia you can follow me for updates and to see what's going on with me so i can't wait to put this new music out go stream virginia and thank you there you go. There you go. Well, listen, this was nothing but a pleasure. I love your energy.